Okay, here we are. Another morning, early start. I got two weeks before I get up to get all the stuff done. And I'm going to get to my sailboat job in November. So I'm going to do a quick video. Uh, we're going to use the phone. My uh, uh, I got too many videos on the GoPro, and it's taking all day to upload, so i got to make them quicker. Um, so I'm going to just show you the next next step. Now all the build is done, right? The last scoop, everything is done with the with the with the build. Now it's all finishing, and I'm about halfway into the done with the whole project. So here we go. This is um, I'm scalloping and I'm doing uh, random. I put a new blade on. What a difference! Uh, I must have got a, the exact same blade, but the the the, the cut was so much coarser and rough. Sixteenth per inch. Okay, so I'm just holding at a 45, and I'm just after random. And there's not a lot of that you can do that creates, but just try to try to mix it up. I like to watch where my holes are. Then the outside edge. Close the knot. Oh yeah. Right. And I like coming out at the end. It makes like a little uh, foot. So that's how that goes. All the little details. Sometimes there's booger. Gotta get rid of that. Just looking for randomness. That's what makes a, a rustic chair. You don't want consistency. And now all these facets got to get sanded. I'll show you how we do that. Hang on. Let me see if I can see where this is pointing. And I think we're okay. Yeah. Sorry for the snorting. How's that? I can't even see the back of the camera. So... There's little tick marks I make, right, as references. So I may get, those may disappear, and then I lose my reference, so I always make a mark on the inside. Um, and I love the, or vices. So a sander only works with, you know, the, the vibration. It's like if the piece is all around, you don't get sanding action, so... And the very end corner of the of the foot, the bottom end, you gotta you gotta bevel this back because as you as you rake this foot across the anything, dresser bottom, um, anything that's gonna sit on the floor, as you pull this, which is gonna happen, it's gonna get dragged, it's gonna do stuff. If you leave all these sharp corners. All these sharp corners, it's going to catch on something, and you're going to pull some some wood away, and it's going to be a big old nasty. Not not so good. This is hard to make quick video. So,
basically I do that to all of them. So there's chatter, right? There's there's just saw marks. We get rid of all of that. Go all the way around. Uh, so, and you just, I do a chair at a time. And this, this needs to be viewed because I didn't highlight this. Let's see if we can arrange it so you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully it shows up. So I talked about scalloping the seat. Jigsaw. Love the old Bosch. This thing is... Oh, Neil's house build, 95. So this is a, a little crazy. Again, I made a mark where that angle's coming through, and I want to keep that pristine. I don't want to bevel that back. the idea and then that all gets sanded um, and I'll show the the burn the burn comes next and I'm gonna stop here okay <laughs> that's how we build chairs here in free soil adios bye